What's up everybody? Welcome back to Locked Up 365. If you're new to my channel and you like all jail related content, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you can be notified first when a video touches down. I've gotten a lot of requests about making a video on commissary. So the first thing we're going to start off with is there is different ways to order commissary. The first way is old school, you got the bubble sheets. Some jails still do this to this day. You have to fill in the little bubbles of what you want. Now if you mess up that commissary slip, say you change your mind or you just fill in the wrong bubble, you're screwed. There ain't no way around it. They're going to fill that order and you're going to get what you put on there. Or sometimes they just mess up your order and then you just have to wait until the following week to get what you really wanted. So definitely if you're in a place that has a bubble sheet you definitely want to make sure that your mind is completely made up and you fill the bubble sheet out correct of what you want. Another way that jails have you order commissary is on the phone. They'll have you dial like star 9 or something and it'll put you through to the commissary line and you'll have a commissary sheet in your dorm or pod, whatever you're in, everything will be listed on there as a number. Like Raymond Noodles will be 33, Honey Buns will be 45. Once you get in, you'll have to press, you want number 33, and it'll ask how many, and you'll hit five. All right, another thing about commissary, whether it's a bubble sheet or you're on the phone or a kiosk, however you're ordering commissary, you want to be very careful with your identification number and a PIN number if you have one. Most of the time, you do have a PIN number. That's how they verify it's you. Like when you call over the phone, you'll hit, like once again, you'll hit that star nine and it'll ask for your identification number and your PIN number. If somebody else gets that and say you move cells or they move cells, they could like just mess with you by ordering a bunch of stuff you don't want. I've seen people do this. They would actually write somebody out of the cell that they didn't like and somebody had their numbers because they had money put on their books or something like that. So they'd go in and order like a bunch of women products like women deodorant and bras and all kinds of stuff just to mess with them so when they got their commissary order they're thinking they're getting ramen noodles and honey buns and pop instead they're getting bras and deodorants and stuff so you got to be very careful with them numbers that nobody gets them and they will they'll lay back in their rack and sit there and watch you or they'll peep over your shoulder and see if they can get your numbers because a lot of the numbers are used for the phone also like if somebody puts money on your phone account, sometimes the numbers are the same depending on what jail you're in. Alright, so like I said, a lot of jails are going modern with the kiosk. I personally prefer the kiosk because I'm a picture type of guy. I like to look and see what I want and see what they offer. It's just easier that way, like selective wise, you know, you can actually see what variety they have. And it just seems like they have a lot more. One of the main reasons that I like the kiosk too is because you can confirm what you are actually ordering before you check out in case you mess something up. The bubble sheet, if you messed it up and you already sent it out, you're screwed. There ain't nothing you can do about it. Now over the phone, you can get back on and you'll have to listen to your whole commissary order and find whatever you messed up on and you'll have to cancel that and add whatever else but the kiosk is just it's just easier to walk up to it punch your numbers in and you can see what you messed up and you can cancel the order make a new one Aramart is who supplied all the commissary for a lot of the jails that I was at they also supplied a lot of the food like all the food for the jail and they had a manager that was over the kitchen workers alright so you definitely want to find out what day is the last day you can order your commissary and what day does commissary come on from my memory it usually came Tuesday Wednesday or Thursday Thursday was usually one of the top days that it came but there was jails like that did their own commissary where we had to fill out the bubble sheet now, we would get it a little bit earlier because they were doing it in-house. They would have inmates. They have like two or three inmates that would go and pick the commissary orders. And they would get hooked up each week 
whether it be a few noodles or you know whatever they hook them up for helping do the commissary every week now another way that your family can get you food without ordering commissary is hot meals hot meals were really popular they are delicious it was almost like eating at like a old school diner or something like the burgers were huge they were like fifteen dollars for your family to order and say if some jails are you know they would do it once a week some would do it twice a week and they would have different selections on them days so i did see people that would rather have them hot meals once a week because you know it would come with like a burger fries and a drink and a bag of chips another way that they can get you commissary without you actually putting in an order is they can order you like a gift bag now some jails do this not all of them i was at a couple that did it but they would be able to order a gift bag, like a coffee bag, and it would come with like two Maxwell houses, a big thing of Folgers, you know, sugar, creamer, all the all the extras that you could want, you know, and the pricing would be different. Like, you know, it'd be 30 bucks for the coffee bag, but you could get a noodle bag for 20 that had 50 Raymond noodles in it, sausage, you know, whatever. But not every jail does do that. It just depends on where you're at. Each jail offers something different. All right, so definitely remember to double check your commissary orders, especially if you're doing the bubble sheet or the phone. Like I said, the kiosk is a little bit easier, but it's always good just to double check. So when you get in the jail, just ask around, see what kind of commissary they offer, if they offer the bags or hot meals or just what day you have to have your commissary order in by and what day it comes. But that's all I got on this video. I want to thank everybody for watching. If you want to follow me on Instagram or Facebook, or if you would like to donate to Locked Up 365, I'm going to leave the link in the description below. Thanks for watching Locked Up 365.